job, my friends, and you should feel honored. You're taking the regional inspector of the Gibral army back to Gibral kingdom. No, please. Thank me later. Oh, brother. <laughs> this old man never shuts up, it does he? He's gonna day. hear you. So what if he does? Me. He's about yes, the most now. annoying He'll person I've ever met. He is pretty loud. I wonder why Zola's letting him come along with us. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> she must have had some kind of reason, right? I mean, she usually does. Even if she doesn't always tell us what it is. Hmm. You there, boy! Uh? I'm getting pretty hungry. Rustle up some food for me right away. I'm thinking some grilled swordfish would be good. Oh, yeah? And where would I get something like that, smart guy? You're on short rations, huh? Then just a tomato sandwich and some juice. Run along now. I'll wait here. Ah! Are you deaf? We don't have anything to eat! Oh, look! It's a village. Maro. That's perfect. It's early, but let's get some rooms for the night. Forget it! Go! Huh? I have responsibilities! And I can't be wasting time in a place like this! Oh, really? Huh? Well, if you intend to keep traveling with us, you'll follow my orders. <sighs> Fine, I'm a reasonable <sighs> person. And you are doing me a favor. So I can afford to be tolerant to a certain degree. Ha 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 ha! Ah, he's more annoying than a pebble in my shoe! Oh, I'm so hungry. You know what I could go for? A great big steak. This menu? It's just impossible. There's no meat. No swordfish. Ah, this is why I hate country food. There's a lot of dishes for peasants, but nothing that appeals to a refined palate like mine. Are you ready to order? Uh -huh. Hello there. It's so nice of you to drop in. What can I bring you today? <clears throat> I'll start with shrimp cocktail. Bring everyone some water <clears throat> and a plate of something cheap and filling. I'll let you make the choice. Great. I'll get your water and be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we going to Gibraltar? Our mission doesn't involve being bodyguards for some useless bureaucrat. There's something I need to do there. Something? Yes. Don't worry about it. I'll explain it all to you later. Stop that! You will have to pay your bill, sir! This food is overpriced. I think you should just give it to us for free, okay? In fact, maybe you should pay us for eating here. <laughs> hey, leave her alone! Huh? You heard me. She doesn't like it, and neither do I. What's your problem, kid? Stay out of this, or we might have to mess you up. Oh, is that right? Be careful. You might be the ones getting messed up. Come again? Hold on now, everyone. Let's not get carried away here. We can settle this like civilized men without violence. I'm sure it's a simple misunderstanding. Is this civilized enough for you? I'm wearing out my boots because of you. I'm gonna have to give myself some new ones. Help me, somebody! I think we just got off on the wrong foot, if you know what I mean. All right, boys, that's enough. You've made your point. This man's traveling with us for now. So if you keep attacking him two on one, we'll be forced to get involved just to be fair. Well, when you put it like that, you make a pretty good argument. <laughs> wow! Thank you so much, ma'am. And thank you, kind sir. No big deal, really. <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> 
Hardly a scratch on him. I'm sure he's still hungry, so could you get our food now, please? Oh, sure. Huh. Why are you sticking your nose in? It's dangerous. Just because you can make your shadow appear doesn't mean you know how to use it properly. Mm. Quiet down! You were so scared you were afraid to do anything! What? Just Hi, zip it, Mr. Know-it-all! Let me tell you something. I'm a better fighter than you any day of the month. Oh, yeah? What day would that be? The 38th of October? Everybody knows there's only 31 days in October. <sighs> that hit the spot. Best meal I've had in weeks. All right, then. I guess we should be going. Excuse me! Can you wait a minute, please? Huh? Is there something we can help you with? Well, yes. We didn't meet, but my name is Bouquet. I wanted to thank all of you for helping me out earlier. And, um, I wanted to do something to show my appreciation. I hope you understand, but I won't feel right unless I can express my gratitude. <laughs> I have some business to take care of, so I'm leaving for a short while. But if you're determined to do this... Huh? Shu was the first one who went over to offer his help, so he should decide on the appropriate gesture. What, me? <laughs> hey, I'm the one who got injured! What's the plan, Shu? Well, now, how about... I don't really... Let me decide! How about a big kiss? <laughs> How's your kisser kiss her feel now? Not bad. Did you decide? Uh, whatever you want to do is fine. Anything that makes you feel better. Well, how about I make you all a delicious dinner? Um, gee, that's very polite of you, but we just ate. Right. <laughs> I know. Why don't you take us around and show us your village? Sure. I'd be glad to. <laughs> this one right here is the Asimov family's house. And the one next door is the Clipped house. And that's the park. And on the corner is a mailbox. These are the, the most interesting, interesting things, things in your town? town? Yeah. All right, forget about the tour. Is there someplace clean and cheap we can stay? Hmm. Oh, wait, I know. Ta-da! Here we are. Will this do? What is this place? It's a big old clay pipe, and people stay here all the time. And it's all free. We, we had something, something like, like a hotel, hotel in mind. mind. This is crazy. I can't take any more of this stupidity. There's only oh, one way to make you right here, right now! You're really cruising for a bruising! I'm an important man, and this is a waste of my time. It may not look like it, but I'm busy. You know, we are wasting time. Huh? The old man's right. Uh, sorry. Oh, it's okay, really. Don't pay any attention to them. They're just cranky. It happens when you're old. The important thing is you made a nice gesture, and we really appreciate it. Think about it. You went out of your way to show us around your town. Your heart was in the right place, so we feel like we've been paid back in full. You're now free to go live your life, and you won't have to follow us around anymore. So long! What? <laughs> that girl was strange. She wasn't too bright, was she? Not really, but she meant well. More importantly, she was beautiful. I wish she'd let me kiss her. Hey, is that all you ever think about? Complete waste of time. At least we won't have to go through that again. Hi, everybody. I thought about it, and I feel I still owe you. Uh -huh. Since I didn't pay you back properly, I've made a momentous decision. I'll devote myself to your welfare from this day forward. <laughs> My welfare would improve with a big smooch. There's your smooch. You know what? My shoulders are tight. How about patting down these muscles? Your wish is my command. Ah! Have you lost your mind? I've got tea. Who's thirsty? This looks bad. She'll never make it. No way. Huh? Oh! Ah! I'm being bombed like well, a That was predictable. Just what I'd expect from a country bumpkin. Uh. <laughs> hey, this stinks! What is it, a filthy dish rag? You gave me an old used dish rag to clean myself no, off? I'm sorry. I grabbed the first rag I could find. I see. In that case, take it back! Did anyone ever tell you you're a walking disaster? Oh, for 
from time to time. What the heck? Accidents can happen. Some people deserve what they get. So if you're finished, can I get that kiss now? I'm sure you're sorry, young lady, but in the interest of self-preservation, I can't have you anywhere near me. I consider my life to be in mortal danger if you're even in the same room. I need you to be 30 feet away from me at all times. Got it? Any closer than that and I'll consider it an act of war! Yes, sir. That was harsh, old man. I am not an old man. Then what am I supposed to do? Wait until she puts me six feet under? I'm not upset, and I'm not gonna get discouraged because of one old grunt. Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna show them my appreciation whether they want me to or not. I know a few tricks. <laughs> they think I'm just a waitress, but they're gonna find out I'm a whole lot more than that. It's time to use the supernatural powers of the Rockman. All set, here we go. Those people don't know how talented I really am. Time to vanish. All right, one, two, three, go. <laughs> now that I'm invisible, I can approach them and then determine the best way to show my appreciation. They're all together which makes it easier to find out what will make them happy. Oh. <gasps> that lady's come back. Uh. Oh. Hi, Zola. Did you find what you were looking for? Yes. What happened to Appreciation Girl? Uncle Grumpy over here chased her away. I must have made a good impression on somebody. Yeah. What a way. She was so kissable. Talk about a one-track mind. Huh. <laughs> I was perfectly within my rights. I'm the one she was trying to make go boom. Nobody's ever died from a dirty rag. So what happened? Mm -hmm. How did she show her appreciation? Oh, a little of this and that. That girl was the most dangerous opponent I've ever faced. I thought I was a goner. Horrifying. Oh, no, she wasn't trying to really hurt you. So it's okay to beat me with a mallet, burn my head, and poison me? That's fine. She meant no harm. If I see her, I'm gonna run before she gets her hands on me. <laughs> what? Huh? Who? Where? That'll show him. It's not nice to talk about someone when they're not around. Now, to find a way to show my appreciation. Huh? Of course. That should work. Now that you have a moment, how did you guys really want that pretty girl to show you her appreciation, Marl? Huh? Did I just say something? There's no need for her to show her appreciation. I just did what I thought was the right thing. I thought that boy was cool, and this just proves it. Of course, it was really Zola who chased those guys off. Meaning what? <laughs> no, no, this isn't helpful. The two of you stop fighting Mezo! Huh? Mezo? It wasn't me! Why are you looking here? I didn't say anything! Maro! Oh, Maro. What is the matter? Well, I feel like there's something nearby, but I can't quite grab it. Maro. Uh, That's a relief. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm sure that girl wanted to repay you and make you happy, but she didn't understand what you want. At this point, I don't think there's anything that will satisfy you except getting better at using your powers in battle. Absolutely. That's right. I want to become a great warrior. So that's it. What these guys really want is something to challenge them on the battlefield. Hey, Zola, how about taking us out and giving us some fight training? Very well. Time to get moving. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. What's this? A band of travelers riding through my countryside. If you want to pass, you'll have to accept my challenge. What is that thing? It's not a shadow, model. Well, whatever it is, we need to defeat it. I'm with you on that one. Wait a minute. You're pretty brave to face me without letting yourselves be overcome by fear. But be warned, young warriors, your courage will be no match for my strength. That means nothing to me. 
I've taken down bigger monsters than you! That's right! We're a lot stronger than you think! Battle! What's going on? Did you summon me here just for this, boy? You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> oh, come on! What are you three, whiners? We have an enemy! Just fight it! You're a little ahead of yourself. I haven't completely decided whether I'm going to accept you yet. Oh, is that right? We'll accept this! <laughs> okay, this isn't quite going the way you thought it would. They seem a lot more powerful than you expected. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? We may have bitten off more than we can chew here. And before we get pounded, you may want to consider a tactical retreat. I don't want to be mincemeat. What's going on? Are you over there talking to yourself, you beast? We were having a private conversation. Now, uh, 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 we think you boys got the wrong idea about us when we pulled you over. <laughs> said if you wanted to pass, you had to accept our challenge. We didn't say anything about a fight. Huh? They're weaseling out! Careful, it might be a trick! We all know what we heard! There was no misunderstanding! Oh no! We're in for it now! Let's get up! It's a shadow. I'm confused. What's going on here? Bouquet is pretty upset. I'll explain in her place if that's all right. Uh -huh. First of all, my name is Hippopotamus. But that's quite a mouthful, so Bouquet calls me Hippo. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Uh -huh. Let me get right to the explanation, shall I? Simply put, Bouquet owes you guys a debt of gratitude. She still feels that way? And as you know, she wanted to show you her appreciation for helping out with those men back at the restaurant. And from what I was led to understand, you guys said you wanted to get out and sharpen your skills as warriors. Come to think of it, we might have said that. But how could she have known what we were talking about? Oh, that's easy. She has many talents. She's a member of the Raw Clan. When she wants, she can be invisible. Okay? <laughs> Then that means... I could have an invisible girlfriend! No! Oh, she's such a sweet little thing. Once she heard you were coming out here to practice, she thought she would pay you back by challenging your skills. Our plan was to lightly take you guys on, but you surprised us. You didn't know that your opponents also had shadows, did you? We thought you were just a bunch of regular kids. I'm not much of a warrior, never have been, but I do have the power to transform. Say, maybe you'd like a little demonstration. I can become anything I want. Wow! I told you this girl was dangerous, she can't be trusted! We should find a way to neutralize her if you ask me. <laughs> But I just wanted to be friends. <laughs> I'll be your friend. Huh? We are your friends. Uh. We appreciate that you want to pay us back. So now we're even. We accept your gesture. And we thank you for it. What? You said fire? That's right, you're fired. Terminate it. You're out of here! Bye-bye! Fly away! Gosh! You mind telling me exactly why? Let me see! It probably had something to do with you walking off the job and disappearing all day! Huh. To keep the job, you'd normally have to hang around and do it, right? Well, yes, but... Right! Goodbye! Sorry, Bouquet. <laughs> I just wanted to do something good, and because of that, something bad happened! 
and it doesn't seem fair, you know? Yeah, you meant well. So, Shu... Hmm? Yeah? I was just wondering, do you think you guys could find me another place to work? The, the only thing she's qualified to do is cause trouble! I mean, maybe you guys could hire me. Don't you need a chef or something? I know a whole bunch of recipes. You'd like my cooking. It's the best. How would you feel about trying me out for a week? We'd all be in the hospital with food poisoning by the third day. What do you think? Pretty please with sugar on top? Uh, gee. Uh, I'm not really. What's the plan, Zola? <laughs> well, she was in charge on all matters relating to this girl. Do whatever you think is best. <sighs> okay, then. I'm going to make an adult decision. As of today, you can be... Yes? I can be what? You think I'm crazy? Run for it, guys! Yeah! Yeah! No way! You can't just run away! Hey, you think I'm going to give up? I'll chase you to the ends of the earth! Come back here! You haven't even tasted my waffles! I know how to make scrambled eggs! Hurry! She's catching up! As per your summons, I, General Logie, have arrived, Lord Nene. How may I serve you? 